Hello and welcome to Mrs. Patman's math sessions here. This is session one. Uh, we are going to be working on doubling and halving over the course of this week, but this lesson will look mainly at doubling. Okay. As we do with every lesson in my class, we start off with counting and we start off with a, a lesson that helps us, a warm up, let's say, that uh, helps us to count on from numbers and count back from numbers and all things like that. Okay. So we will start today's lesson where I will show you some numbers. First of all, numbers from 1 to 10, and then I will pause and let you count on from that number. Then I will count on with you so you can check if you got it right. We'll do that for a few numbers, 1 to 10, and then we'll do some numbers 11 to 20, counting on from that number. So when I show the card, for example, I would show 7. I would want you to say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So about three or four numbers after the number I'm showing you, and then pause. I'll give you enough time to do that, and then I will say it uh, for you just to check you got it right. So that's our first uh, activity that we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you this number. And I'll pause to let you count this number and then count on. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done if you got that one right. Our next one is eight, nine, 10, 11. This helps when you're adding, counting on from a number, rather than counting the first number again first and then counting on. This will help you get much quicker at your adding questions. And I'm gonna show you this number. Two, three, four, five, six. Well done. You can see that my hundred square is here beside me. I don't know if that can be seen in the camera. It can be used to help you and you have your own ones that I sent home with you as well. So you can have those in front of you if you need that to help you with your counting. Up, okay? And your next one, let's do one more from numbers 1 to 10. And your next number is 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now I'm going to get a little trickier and go with numbers that are 11 to 20. And we're still counting on, saying the number on the card and then counting on from that number. So I'm going to start with this one. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Well done. And the next one we're going to go for is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well done. And one more. We were going to go with this number. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21. Excellent. Fantastic counting on. So that's just a little warm up and that helps you with your adding as you go on in the future. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of counting. So it will help to have your own 100 square in front of you. We're going to zoom in on mine as well here too, but it's always handy to have your 100 square with you whenever we start any of these math lessons. So just give you a hand rather than struggle. So first of all, we're going to count in fives to 100. Now we do this in class all the time and we do it to a kind of jazzy tune. So we're going to keep that going here because it helps us remember what comes next. Now remember when we're counting in fives, we are only interested in two columns on the 100 square. If you can point to those columns on your 100 square, that's right, it's the ones that end in a five and the ones that end in a zero. I'm just going to move my coloured teddy so we can see the whole of the 100 square. Okay, so after three, we will count in fives. One, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And as I do in every class, now I ask what would come next if we were adding five on each time and we got to 100? What would be the next number if we're adding five on each time? It would be 105. Well done. Okay, now we're going to count in tens to 100. Then when we're counting in tens, we're only interested in one column on the 100 square. Point to that one on your 100 square now. 
Yep, it's this one here, all the ones that end in a zero. Okay, so after three, we will count together. One, two, three, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And what would be the next number? If we were adding 10 on each time, what would we count after 100? 110. Well done. Okay, so today we are going to revisit something that we did a couple of weeks ago in my classroom, and that was doubling. We can have one lesson on that just to polish up on doubling, and then for the rest of the week we're going to move on to halving, which is a new concept for us, so we will look at that in great detail over the next few lessons. But this one is doubling, okay? So for this lesson, I've got my special doubling machine okay it's a simple whiteboard it reminds us that we are doing double at the top and we've got this sign in the middle and this sign means add okay so doubling is adding now what do we remember about doubling so if i was to say double three what am i adding to that first three if i am doubling I'm adding the same number again. That's simply what doubling means, adding the same number again. So if I'm adding, if I'm starting with three, then I'm going to be adding three more. So that will be double three, three, add three. So that is doubling. So let's just check what the answer would be to double three. So I'm gonna take my teddies here. I put three teddies into my doubling machine. It doesn't matter what they look like, they're all sorts of different teddies. And I'm putting three into my doubling machine. So if I'm doubling, I will add the same number again. So the three's gone in, and I will double it by adding the same number of teddies again. Don't worry if they look a bit different, as long as they're the same amount. So I've got three teddies here, and I've got three teddies here. So double three is three add three. What is three add three? Now, if you're struggling with this, you could try counting on like we just did by saying three, four, five, six. Or you could use your 100 square. You're starting with three, so your finger would start on the three on the number square up here. Can that be seen with the camera? And then we're going to add the three more jumps on because we're adding three more. So three, add three jumps. One, two, three, we land on six. So the answer to three, double, double three, three, add three, is six. So I would write on my board at this point my whole adding sentence, just so I get used to writing my adding sentences. I started with three. I added, because I'm doubling, the same number again. So double three is three, add another three equals, and we worked out that the answer altogether was six. So there is my adding sentence, my double three sentence, okay? So that's that one. And I think probably we'll have a go at doing another one this time. So I'm gonna rub my board clean of double three. And this time I'm going to put into my doubling machine. In fact, let's put six into my doubling machine. So six is going in. To my machine. So if I'm doubling six, I will want to add what to my six I've already got? Six, add what if I'm doubling six? That's right, the same number again. So I will want to add the same six on the other side. So here we go, put six on the other side in my doubling machine. That's my teddies. It's four, five, and six. So double six simply means six, add the same number again, six more. So now I've got to work out what six add six will be. I could count on like we were doing with our cards earlier and I could say I've got six here already. I don't need to count those again, I know there's six. So I could say six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So my answer to double six is 12. Or I could use the 100 square. I started with six, so I'm gonna find six with my finger. I added six more on, so I've got to do six jumps on. So don't count the number you're on, only when you jump. So one, two, three, four. This is a jump all the way to 11, five, and six jumps. Brings me to 12. 
So now I'm going to write that doubling sentence on my board. So I started with six, so I write my six here. I'm adding, doubling is adding on, and I'm adding the same number again if I'm doubling six. So six add another six equals, and because we counted them all together, we worked out that our answer was 12. So that's our double six sentence there, okay? I'm going to give you another one to do here. And then I'm going to set you some at the end of the video for you to do with your parents at home, okay? So for this one, I am going to put into the machine this time five. So let's count my five going into the doubling machine. One, two, three, four, five. Five's going into the doubling machine. If I'm doubling five, I will want to add what to my five? the same number again so another five on the other side one two three four and five because I am doubling five so it'll be five add five okay I might start by writing my sentence now so I've got it all done and then I'm ready to work out the answer so double five means I start with five one two three four five I'm going to add, because I'm doubling, the same number again. So I'm going to add another five onto that, and then I'm going to put equals. And now I need to work out my answer. So remember those two ways you could do it, okay? No point counting this five again. I know there's five there, okay? I've already counted them, so I can count on five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one way of doing it. I've added them all together. It's ten. I could also use the hundred square, remember? I started with five, so my finger goes to five. I've got to add on five more jumps, but only count the jumps, not the number that you're touching already. So five, add five jumps. One, two, three, four, five. My answer is 10. So I can pop that in on my doubling adding sentence there. Five, add five equals 10, okay? Now we've done some together, I'm going to set you some now to do when the video ends, okay? And you can use your hundred square to check your answer, or you can use objects to help you. It could be anything. I mean, you could use sweets, you could use knives and forks if you use them safely, pencils, anything you want to help you with your maps, okay? It doesn't have to be these special coloured teddies like that. Anything you can find in the house that you can use to count as an object. So I'm going to set you uh, a couple of doublings here. So I want you to double, and I'm going to write double here. I'm not going to write out the whole sentence for you because I want it to be something for you to do at home, okay? I want you to double seven, and I want you to double four, and I want you to have a go at doubling so double two, that's a nice one. And then an even trickier one if you want to stretch yourselves. I want you to double 12, okay? So I'm asking you to double seven, double four, double two, and double 12. Remember if you're doubling, you are adding the same number again, okay? All right, so use your counters or whatever you've got to help you count on or your 100 square to help you. If you could post any pictures of yourself on our tapestry account so I can see how well you're doubling, that would be fantastic, okay? So tomorrow's video will be about halving. This is new for us, remember, but we will work on it together so we are all marvelous at halving by the end of this week. I'll see you again soon.